It's getting hot in here! Alright, I don't want to jinx it, but we haven't played any druids yet, so I'm thinking we're probably going to play a druid soon. Hey look, it's a druid. We're all ready to go. Yeah, we didn't face any druids, right? Like, druid is the meta right now. It's more than 50% of the matches we're going to get today. Guess I'll That's keep it quality. Resub. No list yet. Well, yeah, we haven't even beaten a druid yet. We gotta beat a couple druids before we even know it's any good. The end is coming. Okay. I'm just gonna play a weapon. The battle. A lot of people compared Doomsayer, Treachery, Doomsayer, Frost Nova, and no one's gonna mention the Treachery did the same thing, always going off, not selling opponents next turn. Yep. It's very true. Fuck. I have to kill this, right? Gonna nourish and get mana. Um, let's just play this because we need a guy to bone mare, I guess. Uh, do I just black knight this or to bone mare? See, bone mare doesn't really let us kill this stuff. None. Just got a black knight. Bone Mare just makes me a 5 5 there, which doesn't let me kill it. I think Death Knight Malfurion has a place in Jade Druid. Yeah, definitely. You can totally play the Death Knight. Oh, fuck. Now I can't Bone Mare anything. Now he has a million cards. So we have like equality clears for later, but we're gonna just have to let him get the board here, basically. I feel like I'm always clearing next turn, so I should just draw cards here. Like, he's definitely gonna play a whole bunch of shit next turn. Feels so bad playing at Ultimates and Fest. Yeah, it's like, we did a decent game up to that point, and then he just has 10 mana and a full hand, and it's like, oh fuck, how am I gonna beat that? How am I gonna beat that? It's like, none of his cards are bad. They're all like, swipe and... Good shit. Or jade cards. His jades aren't very big yet, though. Well, can't clear with Consecrate. Damn, I want to like Sunkeeper tear him. This is not useful for me. Probably just play the Thespian here. Hmm, I Playing into Consecrate, but he can play into everything and he'll still win. That's part of the problem, right? It's like he doesn't really have to consider what his best moves are. He's just gonna like slam some shit and he's gonna win. That's why people dislike Druid so much right now, because it's like, he doesn't need careful consideration. It's possible he could have careful consideration from his hand, but he's not gonna. He's just gonna slam stuff and hope that it wins the game. Like, I gotta clear this right away again, right? I could buy one turn here, I guess. Maybe I can get away with the Doomsayer. So we'll go like this. Pretty tough Doomsayer. You get like double equality clears. Still feel like I'm not gonna win though. Uh, I wanna play this guy, right? I could just Bone Mare here as well. I think this guy's kinda solid though. What do I take here? I guess I take these. Make him like real shitty to kill. Let's take this guy and Bone Mare him next turn. stuff. As the Exodia quest mage fair against Jade Druid, do they die before they have a chance to win? I think it can go either way. Oh, we can just Skelemancer this. 
What if we got redemption and then we redemption the Skelemancer too? Oh, let's do it. Let's do it, please. Okay, wait, we have to play Skelemancer first or it doesn't work. Play that first and then the order is correct. And we go this and we get redemption. Yes. Then we go redemption. Then we just pass and this dies, gives me an 8 8 and gets redemption. Okay, if this doesn't beat Jade Druid, we're in serious trouble. <laughs> this is like the best combination of neutral cards I could possibly throw at him. And I feel like I'm still not going to win, though. <laughs> like, this was a really good play. This was a really good play. If I don't win this game, I'm going to be a little pissed. Alright, what do we do now? I have an equality clear, but that's not helpful. I need to bone mare the Skelemancer, right? Peacekeeper would be really good draw. Peacekeeper the 7-7 seven, seven, be like a really good draw. I'm almost dying too. I'm at like 14 health and I'm playing Control Paladin. Alright, so I didn't get it. I guess. Let's go. Definitely Smork in here. Can I die though? Can die. Fuck. Well, I gotta smart with this guy. So he uses face plus a 2 2 and then another 2 2 and then he has 10. I do 4 damage, huh? Alright, I think we have to trade. We don't have to trade on the 7 7 though. We can trade on like the 3 3. I think there's a fair chance of us dying if we don't trade. If we trade on one minion, then he needs two spells, so it's harder. Right now, he only needs a single spell to kill me. God, I want to go face. I want to go face. But we got a lot of stats on board. Like, this guy turns into an 8-8. Eight, eight. We have an 8-8. Eight, eight. We got a 5-5. Five, five. You know. Oh, my God. Okay. Jesus. Who plays mind control tech right now? The only other opponents are druids. We still don't exactly kill him. Like, he can gain health and shit. Druids gain so much health. I'm going to need to quality clear, like, next turn into something. MC Tech scared me. Yeah, why does he play MC Tech? <laughs> he doesn't know what the secret is yet. Death is My turn is not. I think he just fucked up because now he has to attack the 6 4 with the 7. Better make another Jade minion. How many Jade Idols was that? Nice nah, shuffled. So we have 11. We don't kill him though. I gotta clear this or I die. My Skelemancer won't get to turn into anything. This bad man. I gotta clear this or I die though. I just play Pyro to try to kill him. It's totally not gonna work, right? Ugh, I'm really tempted to play Pyro to kill him, but I have another equality clear. I need like a weapon. I need like my Death Knight or Tyrion. I need my Death Knight. Give me my Death Knight like right now. Give me my Death Knight right now, and we can talk business. There's no Innervades left. He's gonna play like four Jade minions next turn though. Fuck, that's not my Death Knight. Damn it! I'm out of cards. Ultimate Infest also gives you five armor. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, Tyrion or Death Knight? Come on, I only got eight cards. Tyrion or Death Knight? Let's go. Got him. Okay. He's gaining three health a turn, though. I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him in the face and he's gonna die. Let's go. I'm trying, anyways. He's gonna slam all of his jades here and they're gonna have quality clear, which is gonna feel pretty good. He's not dying to the weapon alone in two turns. The thing is, like, if he doesn't have card draw, he might get stuck playing only one jade guy because he plays them all here. I'm 
I'm gonna kill him, chat. I'm gonna kill him. We're so close. Totally has a taunt left though, doesn't he? He's a Jade Behemoth still. Fuck. Trying to get him. He's not dead though. Definitely not dead here. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I hit with this guy, right? I'm never gonna like get the hero powers to that point. He's not gonna die. The fact that Druid can like gain that much health too is such a pain. Like he just keeps gaining fucking health. Okay, maybe he dies here. We have exactly enough like based on our board. We have exactly enough. So he takes two attacks to kill this and then he only kills one of these and then I hit with the weapon. Oh no, he's gonna live with one health, right? Or two health or something. Yeah, he's gonna live with two. I need to draw Consecrate, I guess. Oh, this guy only has one attack, though. Oh, yeah, he only has one attack. He forgot about that, too. <laughs> he forgot that guy only has one attack, too. He could have done it. He could have hit the Wicker Flame with the one attack first. The only reason we won there was because he played bad. Did I have a card left in my deck that could do damage? I had Sunkeeper Tarum. Okay, Sunkeeper Tarum would have won the game. That was it, though. The other card... Oh, Spike Ridge would have won, too. I had two out of my five draws remaining. That's what it took... To fucking kill a <laughs> druid though. Like holy shit. Sub missed, my bad.